And it's cut out, but it comes back to uh, Montrose. Montrose probing, plays the ball forward to Williams. Williams to Duxbury, back to Williams. And this time, Kipre gets a foot to the ball, and it's a throw which Duxbury will take quickly to Williams. Williams on the left-hand side, tries to get the cross in, but it's Nathan Byrne there. The ball ricochets away for a foul throw, which will be taken by left-back Scott Duxbury. We may have to get used to that this season. It's, it's uh, past seasons. It's been uh, left back Zane Francis Angle pretty much made that position his own. But Nick Horton there trying to cut inside. Cosilo in the inside left position, twists and turns. The ball is back again with Williams. Williams tries to get a cross in, which he does. And uh, back to the action now. It's uh, Dan Bradley. Dan Bradley on the ball. The break for him. Breaks him, and it's Nick Horton now with a bit of space. About 25 yards from goal. Nick Horton takes a shot on. Great effort by Horton, palmed away by Evans, and that's the first real strike on target in anger. And oh, the ball breaks to Williams there from uh, Byrne, who, who made a bit of a mess of the uh, clearance, but uh, Williams directed his shot just the wrong side of the post there. So, good couple of early efforts from the coasters. So, uh, as it's pre season friendly, he might just uh, low on the 45. But uh, we've still got a couple of minutes to go in this first half. As the score remains, AFC foul nil, Wigan nil. But here's Willoughby, Willoughby at the edge of the box. And it, it goes down. And surely that's a penalty. But no, the referee has decided it's outside the penalty area. Certainly, that looked like a penalty to me, Jack Connor. I think it was. I think it was at least a yard inside the penalty box. Oh, yeah, Willoughby did excellent down that near side. Uh, fooled the uh, the Wigan right back Nathan Byrne, and uh, he was brought down quite clumsily. And I thought that was a blatant penalty. Well, it was a great, great step over by Willoughby, and you know, certainly if uh, we had VAR at uh, Mill Farm here, the referee would be coming over and uh, making the television square sign, and he'd be pointed to the spot. But as it is, he's not. He's uh, given a free kick just outside the penalty area, which uh, Nick Horton and Jordan Williams are standing over. And I think AFC Fowl can be hard done by there, but it's Williams with a left foot and the ball curls out. At half time, he's got a fantastic right foot to swing it in, but he'll play it short to Ashley Hemmings, who puts the ball in the left name to the back post. Finds Danny Rowe in his fine margins. He just puts it past that far post. Well, that was a great opportunity. A bit of quick thinking there from Fylde. Of doing something in a, uh, a bit spectacular for the time. It's something that's installed uh, from the academy. Oh, a mess it around there from uh, the goalkeeper. Oh. And what a miss. Charlie oh, Jolly will, will not know what's happened there, but he's got an open goal to hit at after dispossessing the Fylde goalkeeper, Dan Lavakum. A complete open goal and he's popped it into the car park where the north stand is going to be going to be built and uh, you know what a chance to make it 1-0 uh, Lewis Robles he has got the ball back again from Yates as he tries to get the ball into the box second chance at putting it in here nice little well cross finds Hemmings with the header and it loops and it is a easily collected by Owen Evans Fylde have had the better of the chances I would say you know bar the uh, open goal miss by Jolly yeah, just to get oh, fantastic eye. skill from Yates there. Sorry to interrupt you, Callum, but that was absolutely beautiful. Probably something of the likes that's not been seen here before. Just a nice little quick flick, back heel over his head, straight in front of him and left the defender for dead. And if we can see that a little bit more this season, then I think there'll be a lot of happy faces in the farm, won't there? Yeah. Goal. Jones across to Obi. Obi across to Finley. Immediately pressured by... Robles and a uh, mistake there from Weir allows AFC Foul to start again. Robles on this right hand side. He finds the right back, Craigan, who puts a fantastic ball into Danny Rowe. And Danny Rowe dispatches in Danny Rowe fashion. He was kind of put on a plate for him by Ashley Hemmings, but first of all, whisked past his head to start with. But it fell for him the second time, and he dispatches it in Danny Rowe fashion past the young man, Bobby Jones, and gives. AFC filed the lead in this pre-season friendly through the Wigan defences. Perry looks to bring the ball out here. He's confronted by Crosdale. Finds the ball through to Finley, who tries to release Jolie, but dealt with by Craig Ingle, but only as far as Geldhart, who tries to play the ball through. 
A lot of ricochets here. And he takes a shot, and what a fantastic save Great from save. Lavakin. Very Jay Lynn chest out with the one hand, pulls it away. And a point blank effort from Geldhart brings out a fantastic save from the uh, file trialist. Is that what he's capable of? Should we sign him up now? Well, he's uh, certainly done a lot wrong, apart from that uh, little mistake. But I think we can forget that after that save he just made with that one hand.